As we make our way northward towards Moussigny on the Polar Bear Express, we're keeping an eye on an earth cache from the train. It's called A Day at the Beaches, and it's only accessible from the train as you pass by. So you have to keep an eye on ground zero and how close or far away you are. Well, look at the view. This episode, we're traveling aboard the Polar Bear Express from Cochrane, Ontario, to Moosonee, near the bottom end of James Bay. The Earth Cache was a four difficulty, one terrain, and hadn't been logged in three years. After five hours and a bit of a nap, we arrived in Moosonee. <laughs> The train has arrived in Moosonee and we're already geocaching and we're looking for a 1-1 one, one, and we can't find it. It's a 1-1, one, one, but it's supposed to be sneaky. It was just replaced by the CO and we're trying and uh, we're not having so much luck so far. I would have put it right here, but no. Well, I do happen to have the CO's phone number, so I gave him a call. He said he's just going to stop by gave me a bit of a hint but it's not the original rating originally it was a 1-1 but it's been replaced and it's not as easy as it was there you go once you figure it out the hint makes sense yeah and it's the original placement even and the mm. container is very similar except the original the 1-1 had a black cap <laughs> it was all black so this one is actually much, much easier, easier to see, yes. and we're so glad to get this one because this is the very first geocache in that Moussini. was ever placed in Moosney Cool. And the CEO came and joined us. Crown Clan. Yes. Right here from Moosonee. What's it like being the resident kind of geocacher of the area? Well, I wouldn't <laughs> say. I, we don't even think of ourselves as the resident geocachers. Yep. Um, locals that were here, friends of ours, got us into it. Yep. Uh, we had young kids at the time. So, of course, that's a, a lot of times the way you get cool. into it. But. I noticed they're they're not uh, really old, except for this one. This one yeah. is 2005, yeah. and uh, we did he did help us, but we did get it on our own, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Yep. So, but a lot of them newer ones. So, do you rotate the caches around, or do you? We don't. Yeah. No. So we've had other ones that we've decommissioned just because issues with yeah. with certain ones. Um, but for the most part, we've had the same ones since we since started. You, yeah. Being a small location. Yeah. Uh, and whatnot. They get vandalized quite often, so oh, that's yes. usually a lot of yeah. the issues that we have. I would up. think that you would, as a small community, kind of put out your own caches and then archive them and put them out again for different, like to keep, because yeah. you're so remote. Yes, we have a lot of tourists, yeah. so we get hey, a lot of cachers. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, it's quite awesome. odd. We get a lot of canoers that come through, and yep. then and they do a lot of geocaching. Oh, okay. This is a sort of a staging area when they're leaving. Oh, very so nice. at uh, usually at five o'clock or just before yeah. they they stage here just to go out on the train. Very so cool. they'll paddle in and then yep. the train out. I, we saw somebody get dropped off uh, yep. to get paddled. They were going to paddle down the last river yep. and then around the corner and come back. And I never thought of that. That sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, lots of tourists. So yeah. keeping the same ones. There's not a, a lot of local uh, cachers. Yeah. We've tried to help get people introduced to, to caching and there's a few local and friends that we, oh, we've gotten nice. in. Yeah. But yeah, no, well, it's... Thanks, uh, for, it's thanks for keeping it up. Yeah. And this one, yeah. It's like an extra hint to find it. Yeah. This one was disabled before we came and I sent him a note. Yeah. I said, hey, can you fix that one up before we come? And yeah. he did. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Not a problem. It's good. Nice, very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Great hide. I missed it the first pass around and then when I went back down again. And sometimes you got to get down and dirty. In a garbage place, that's pretty dirty. But I got it. Mm -hmm. 
just like that we're going to get a tour to get some other remote caches that we couldn't get to by walking steve's going to take us there crown clan he's the man rocks i hate rocks <laughs> And just like that, it's a fake rock. We can't show you where it is because you got to come find it yourself. This is a four, what? A four, one, one and a half. It's a four, one and a half. And yeah, it was, uh, we had some help. We have to say that. Uh, uh, the CEO just kind of took us around and didn't torture us too much, but we found it. But he narrowed in the zone. So we have to give him kudos to that. Yeah. And we'll give a favor point for sure because this was a cool one. I know. It's right there. Can you see it? Once you know what to look for, they're pretty easy to find. Well, not easy. We're getting the royal visitor's treatment here. Getting ferried around to the, all the cool caches. This is so awesome. And you can do this too. You just have to reach out to people. Don't be scared. Just send them a note and say, hey, are you going to be in the area? Is that geocache fixed up? And it could happen to you as well. Because geocachers are the friendliest people. And they'll go out of their way to have fun with you. Found it! It didn't stump me. It stumped me because I was looking in a different stump altogether and the CO was having so much fun laughing at me. <laughs> I'm glad I'm such a joy. Look at this thing. It's not hooked up to anything so maybe that's it. Oh, nothing attached. Oh, look at that. There it is. We got it. Yay. That was a 5-2. That was a difficult one because yeah, our do. coordinates were way off. We were looking way over there until Lear Glass spotted this thing that had nothing attached to it. Good hint. That was our tour of Moosonee. Yeah. It was pretty good getting uh, to know the town a little bit and to get some caches. And meeting the owner of some of the caches was just amazing. So nice to have a tour guide uh, take us around to some of the greatest caches. Thanks so much. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?